Hello, it's Lacey and welcome to our space. So today we're going to be doing my first fall DIY video of the season. I know I'm really late and I'm going to make a video a little later on and tell you guys where I've been. We're going to do crafts in that video as well, but this video we're only going to craft and I will let you guys know where I've been and what's going on in another video. Or would you rather I go over on Instagram and I'll let you guys know over there in like a reel or something something like that comment down below and let me know how you want to know or if you want to know because if you just rather see me craft then we can do that too don't worry I won't be offended but I thought I'd share with you guys what was going on in my life in some form or another so comment down below and let me know how do you want me to do that I do have a second channel here too Lacey's Place still doesn't have any videos on it too I could put it over there so just let me know in the comment section down below also before we get crafting I wanted to share with you a channel my girlfriend Cheryl started her very first YouTube channel she was so nervous to start it she is a wonderful crafter and she is gonna be on my channel coming up and I'm gonna be on her channel as well probably in a few weeks so but her channel is called home Ridge Studio and she crafts all kinds of cool DIYs like this. <laughs> this little gnome she made. Look at how cute she is. I love the little sock that she used for her hat and the ruffle and look at how she did her hair. I fell in love with this and she gave it to me so it's sitting here in my craft room with me. I haven't named her. I don't know if she gave her a name. I'm going to ask her before I go ahead and name her but she is so darling. She makes things like this and things kind of like I do. She does all kinds of crap. It's Home Ridge Studio so I'm going to put it across the screen here and I'm going to link it down in the description down below. Go over and check her out and tell her I sent you. She is so good at doing things and so shy about crafting. Her face isn't in any of her videos yet, but she's going to be on my channel, so you'll get to see her. But I know my subscribers will love to look at somebody else that's doing crafts and so they can get inspiration from somewhere else. So it's Cheryl over at Home Ridge Studio. So now let's get crafting here. Okay, loves, I'm starting off showing you these beautiful peonies from Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off this year. I'm actually not going to use those, but I do put one on this project and I'm taking it off. So I want to let you know where they came from. We're going to start off here with this gold charger that I absolutely love that came from Dollar Tree, along with several picks and leaves and some florals also from Dollar Tree. And then I have these two red florals that I didn't end up using. Those are from Joann's and this really nice cord from Hobby Lobby that was 40% off and some of these Dollar Tree wooden letters or wooden words. I also have this green and red maple ivy garland from Hobby Lobby. It's a piece of it. I used it in from my gazebo. So first of all, I'm going to figure out here which one of these signs that came in the little pack from Dollar Tree I want to use. I settled on the Hello Autumn. I was thinking maybe Hello Fall, but I like the Hello Autumn a little bit better. And what I've decided to do is to go ahead and paint this sign. I'm going to use two different colors of Apple Barrel paint. These paints ended up coming from Walmart. They are in the color Flamingo Red and Spice Carrot. And I'm going to do like a little ombre effect here on the sign. As you can see, I'm painting the top, the hello part, in the Flamingo Red. Then I'm wiping off my brush and I'm picking up some of the Spice Carrot Orange for the bottom. And I'm making sure to keep the lines a little bit separate. But in a second here, I'm going to dip my brush, there you go, in both colors and then kind of blur the line in the middle to make it into like an ombre effect. And you can go back and forth in the colors until you get it exactly the way you want it. And then after I'm done with that, I'm just going to set it aside to dry and we're going to work on the main part of this project. First, I'm going to cut off a bunch of leaves. Um, these are from Dollar Tree this fall and uh, pick out a couple of other pieces that I want to go on this, like these floss balls. I really like these and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with them, but I took some of those as well. Then I'm gonna take the cording 
this is like a variegated almost like burlap with some reds and orange a little green and yellow in it cording from Hobby Lobby it's regular $5.99 but I did end up getting it 40% off earlier in the year and I'm going to put this all the way around the inner edge of the charger plate and I'm doing it three times around so it'd be thick enough to actually give a really nice a border on it and when I get to the end of the third time I'm not going to worry about how it's connected I'm going to cut it off I'm going to make sure that I use a little tape here I started to cut it without the tape so it won't unravel I'm just using scotch tape and cut it off and just glue it down right where it meets the other edge it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover up that section with a whole bunch of leaves and some florals and some picks so now this part here that I do, I stack my leaves up in different various colors on top of each other. I cut them all the way down to the stem because I didn't want any of the stems to be peeking out of the side. And I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree ones and then several florals off of that garland from Hobby Lobby. That was just a leftover piece of garland that I had because I used it in my gazebo earlier this year all the way around the top edge and if you didn't see that I will link that video down below if you want to check it out but basically I just look at these and do them exactly how I feel like they should go you can put them on any kind of way that you want it's basically your personal taste but I try to make sure that I don't get too many of the bright color leaves right next to each other and most of the time I try to make it even from the top and the bottom however I knew I wanted the top section of this to be a little bit heavier so here is where I changed my mind about this floral piece that I put on I knew I wanted just one flower but I didn't really like the coloring of that one so I'm gonna be taking this Dollar Tree one that's actually had a clip on the back that I just removed and I know it's a little fast but you can see what I'm doing here. I didn't want this video to be super long, so I sped it up a bit. And I just took the other one off and added the Dollar Tree floral. They had these for fall. They had it burgundy, orange, and a light color. And now I am taking some of those floss balls in the red and the white, and I'm tucking them in. I'm putting like three on the top and then three on the bottom. And I decided I didn't really love them all that much. So I added some more greenery on, some more of the dark green colors on top of it to cover them up just a little bit. Then I'm cleaning off my charger and I'm going to just simply hot glue my little sign on it. And this project's gonna be done. I just put the hot glue, as you'll see here in a second, down the middle strip because then it'll be easy to take it off if I want to change it out to something else but that's how easy this project is now I'm gonna hang it on the wall with some command strips on the back though I don't have any right this second and so I didn't show you guys putting those on but that's what it's doing it's actually I just have it stuck on the wall with some duct tape right now but I'm gonna use command strips for it so moving on to DIY number two I had so many people ask me if I was going to use these brass which I don't even think they look like brass but these singular like little reef forms and they're called brass reef rings so I took them apart and then I'm going to go ahead and snap them where they're connected to open them up because we're going to be using that little extra piece of wood block that I had left over from another project for this. Dollar Tree does sell wood blocks and so once you get all of these apart what we're going to do is we're going to connect them into the wood block. So what I did is I just held it up and decided where I kind of wanted to put the first ring the smallest one and I marked it and then I'm going to take my Ryobi drill and I put a drill bit on that matches about the size of the rings and I'm just going to drill down into the side of each one of these and I'm going to do it on opposite sides so I'm going to do it on one side and I'm just 
tapping the dust off and then I turned it over and did it on the other side. And then I'm going to put the rings into those holes that I drilled. And I'm going to go ahead and after I'm done with drilling all of my holes, hot glue all of the rings in. Now on the next size ring, the medium one, I want it to go diagonal to the sides. So I already marked it so you guys can see. On one side, I'm gonna drill straight down and then drill in diagonally to put a hole. And then I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and do the same thing. Now these holes are about a quarter of an inch from the edge, just enough in so that you won't split the wood or anything. And then you're gonna put your next ring into that set of holes. So it's diagonal from like corner to corner. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I decided I really like that and I would like a second ring on there and I have another reform. So I grabbed another one of the middle size and I'm going to go ahead and do it the opposite way on the other diagonal corner. I'm just taking it apart so I can lay it down and I can drill opposite. But what I'm going to do is take and make sure I go up just a little bit from the first hole. So I'm not measuring it, I'm just eyeballing it and I'm drilling straight down and then I'm gonna turn it sideways a little after I get my drill out and drill in sideways. But it's gonna be a little higher than the first diagonal hole that I did. And then flipping it over and doing the same thing on the other side. I hope you can see what I'm doing and you get the gist of it. When I put them in, you will definitely see that they are from corner to corner opposite that first ring uh, on both of them. And then I decided to go ahead and use the biggest ring and I'm going to flip this over and do it on the opposite side of the first ring. I hope it makes sense. You'll see exactly what it looks like when I'm done with that. And I made sure also that I drilled in all the holes nice and deep so that I can fit the rings in on all of the holes and I don't have any of them too shallow. And then once I get those done, I'm going to take a little sanding block and just sand each side so it's nice and smooth. So we can get ready for some Waverly Antique Wax. I'm going to be placing some of this on just with a little foam brush to make this wood look like it is actually stained. And I'm only doing the sides. I'm not doing the top or the bottom because you're not gonna see the top when we're done with this project and the bottom's going to just be sitting down flat. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna be brushing this on all the way around and then I'm gonna take a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe off a lot of the excess. So you can see the wood finish and it looks really nice. I like the color for fall. So once that is all done and it's set aside and has dried, we're going to start putting our rings in. So the first ring, what I did is drill opposite sides, as you can see, about an inch down in the middle, maybe a little more than an inch. And I'm going to actually pull them out and put some hot glue on the edge and then stick them back in. And I drilled in quite a bit so it'll get pushed in a little bit so that it will stay in there nice and secure. You could use some E6000 or some super glue or, or something to glue these in, but they'll stay pretty good with the hot glue. Then the next ones that I end up doing here in a second, I did put a little hot glue on the sides of the first one. Um, are the middle size and I remember I have two of these so I drilled in from corner to corner on sides I'm gonna put some hot glue on the rings about a fourth of an inch in diagonally so these would go across diagonally in this ring and about an inch down also for this four, first ring then the second ring that I did that's the same size as that other middle one. I'm gonna put hot glue on the tips on this too. And I'm going to place it in opposite corners where I drilled in diagonally. And that's gonna be a little bit higher than an inch down. 
So it sits on top of the first ring. And don't worry, you can always re-glue these or, you know, glue them once you get them in is what I'm going to be doing. But as you can see, the top crisscrosses and it does not touch the small ring. Then the last ring, the largest one I'm going to put in, I'm going to put glue on that too. It's going to be opposite sides of the small ring. And I glued that one, I drilled in the wood block at the bottom about an inch up from the bottom. Now, when I started putting it in and I looked at it, that ring is a whole lot bigger than the other two. It was too big for me, so I ended up taking it out and cutting off about two inches of the ring because it just seemed really large for the centerpiece that I was trying to make. It just way too high. And I don't want to glue this one in to start with because I need to decorate around the wood block and put things in there and I want to be able to move it and it sits in there fine. I just need to be able to move it to do the decorations. So I'm going to cut off about an two inches off of this ring because it's too big for me with my wire cutters and then I'm going to put it back in the opposite way of the first small little ring. So you'll see it crisscrosses and it goes um, in an X with all of the different directions of this and I think it makes like a really cool cage on this wood block. So now that we have that on, you'll see that that large ring will move for me so I can get stuff in there, but the other ones are glued down. I'm going to just start taking some of the leaves that I have and start gluing them to the wood block. And I'm going to cut off a lot of stems so they're not in the way and just glue the leaves down. And I kind of like this to be a little bit um, symmetrical, so like I'm using these two across from each other and not next to each other. I'm using some of the leaves from that garland that was from Hobby Lobby. It's the red and green maple ivy garland. I have these leaves that have kind of a pinky, orangey tone to them. They came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby and I've had those in my stash so I pulled out some of those to put on here as well. I also am going to grab a few Dollar Tree leaves and put it on here and basically it's up to you how you want to decorate the top of this. But as you can see, I have one of the velvet pumpkins from Dollar Tree and that is going to be the star of this kind of little centerpiece in the middle. Now you can make this to hold a pumpkin like I'm doing or you can make it to hold a candle or a, a small hurricane vase. There's so many different things you can put in there. You can put like a little figurine, like a little owl or something, but I'm using the pumpkin from Dollar Tree for this. So now these leaves, I know it's a little hard to tell, but what I'm doing is I'm taking the leaves and I'm putting glue on the bottom edge of them and I'm gluing them down to the bottom leaves. I am not gluing anything at all to the pumpkin. And then I'm taking a few berries that came on the kind of pinky, red, orangey leaves and I'm gluing them to the leaves as well. I'm kind of making a cage out of the leaves too. As you can see, I put glue on the bottom of this leaf and I'm gluing it down to the leaves. You can take the pumpkin out of this. I'm just making the leaves go around it so it holds it up. I'm also gluing in a couple of these flowers that I had in my stash. I think they came from Joann's last year, but I know I saw some like that this year. And as you can see, I can pick up the pumpkin and put it back down. I'm gluing everything to the leaves and not to the pumpkin. Because if I want to, I can take the pumpkin out and put a candle in there or something else. And I am just going to keep adding things until I feel like it's done. You guys all know that I say I'm extra and sometimes I get extra, extra um, projects. But I want this to look really nice and full. And so I just pulled out a couple of things that I had in my stash. You can make this whole project from Dollar Tree. You don't have to do things from other stores. And here I'm going to be adding in my last element, which is the berry garland that 
that Dollar Tree carries every year and I was lucky enough to find a ton of this. So I initially just cut off some pieces, wrapped it around my finger so I could get the little twirlies and then I'm wrapping it around the reef forms pieces. I'm going to do this on all of them except for the smallest form in the middle that goes around the pumpkin. I'm going to do it around all the other ones at different heights and I cut off different lengths and sometimes I'm not going to let the entire thing wrap around the reform. I'm just going to wrap it as far as I feel like it should wrap and then wrap it around my fingers some more or make more curlicues going off. And you'll see that it's it's just kind of random and very, very whimsical. You guys, if you've been on my channel before, you know I love everything to be like kind of whimsical and chaotic and a little bit messy. And I, it, that's just my style. And I think it works really well, especially when you're trying to make, you know, personalized home decor that looks kind of high end, but not like too perfect. I, I like my stuff to look like it's store-bought, but not, you know, the average store-bought stuff. I guess you can say it that way. So I have some of the curly cues just flying off on it. And then I did take a couple of little pieces and place them around by the pumpkin as well. And then this whole project is done. And I think it makes for the perfect centerpiece for a fall season. I'm going to be putting it in the middle of my dining room table. I may put it on a runner. I'm not sure, but it's beautiful all the way around. And like I said before, you can use florals from Dollar Tree and do this whole thing from Dollar Tree. I used an extra piece of wood like this one here because we're going to make a second one, but Dollar Tree sells wood blocks also. So now for this one, I showed you I had three holes on one side and on the apps opposite side I put three holes there too. I already drilled them because you saw me drilling the first one so no need to watch me do it again and I'm going to put them all in here so you can see how it's supposed to go and I'll just glue it afterwards but you'll get the idea. You would glue each one of the ends and stick them in the holes. So the first two holes are about an inch down and then the medium size ring I put about an inch down underneath that one and then the large one, I put about an inch, an inch and a half down underneath. And I didn't cut any of the rings. So this is what it looks like. Sort of like a halo art deco piece. And I am going to glue them all down, but they're all pretty loose right now. Because I wanted to be able to show you guys exactly how I was going to decorate it. And I didn't know if I wanted to move any of them around at the time. But I in the end decided to make this a simpler and a kind of more neutral centerpiece that you can do. So I'm taking the same leaves from that red and green maple ivy garland from Hobby Lobby and it goes a long way. I still have a ton of it left. It is normally I think like $17 at Hobby Lobby but I got it 40% off. And so I only used four little corners of this on here. And I made sure that that hello fall sign was gonna fit on here. And then I grabbed some of these florals that came from Dollar Tree and I just cut them off the stem and I'm gonna put them around the square and kind of just like encase it in like I did with the other pieces. But I'm, I'm only gonna use a couple of pieces. And yes, my ring <laughs> moved right there, but like I said, I'm going to glue them all at the end. So I used four little pieces of leaves and then Dollar Tree had these really nice candles this year. They smell really well and I do believe that is the Harvest Cider one and they're in really pretty like fall colors. This one's more of an orangey tone. They have a little lighter one too and I put that on there because it has like a leaf on it and a little piece of leather and then I simply glued the hello fall sign to the front of it. I didn't paint it. I didn't do anything. I didn't stain the little wood block. It's cedar and I think this turned out really really cute. Really really kind of art deco looking and very high end. You could add in any color of flowers you wanted. You could go lighter with more of a creamy instead of the orangey beige look to it. 
and you can do a taller candle you can do one of the um dollar tree vases and put the candle inside that but i just thought it looked really nice the way it is i didn't even take the paper off the top of the candle or the plastic from around it because i liked how it looked so here are all my projects my mother is in love with this charger one she's already claimed it and so that will be going to her house i simply have it stuck to the wall right now with some duct tape you guys but i'm going to be using some command strips for her and here is my favorite of all three i'm in love with this i think it is perfect for me it is whimsical it's chaotic it's slightly messy with the vines going up it but i think it looks really high end and store bought and i'm hoping you guys like this is what i came up with with these reforms i had so many people request that i do something with it so I thought this was a really good idea to kind of cage something in there. It would be really whimsical with like a little creature or something sitting in there instead of the pumpkin and maybe smaller pumpkins too. But I love it just like uh, this is. And then the other one that I did, I think it's pretty cool too. And you can put Hello Fall on both sides of that if you have two of the packages and it can be a centerpiece as well. So that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button because I got more coming at you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye loves. Mm -hmm.